All right, it's embarrassing, but it's honestly kind of laughable at this point. Uh, for the last couple days, I've been recording these vlogs and I had my microphone on and it actually wasn't connected to my phone at all. So I just drove over to a Best Buy to try to get the adapter that I actually needed this whole time and they don't have it. And they said they'll send it to me within a week. So now I have to wait another week to use the microphone that I spent all that money on just so that I could do these vlogs with you guys. Uh, so that's just how life goes sometimes, you know, we're stringing together some tough luck, some bad events, but hey, at the end of the day, we're not gambling. Uh, <laughs> life is good in that sense. But yeah, if you're watching this and it's your first time seeing me, I'm, I'm Robin. I'm a recovering compulsive gambler. I made my last bet over a year ago on November the 12th, 2022. Now I make content online to try to help people to get into recovery for a gambling problem a little bit faster than I did. And uh, I, I made this video yesterday of me just absolutely ranting. And as I'm talking right now, it's uploading. So you guys are going to see it uh, probably the day before this video comes out. Oh, man, it's just like I'm uh, stringing together all these negative events, all these bad events. But at the end of the day now, um, I, I'm able to laugh at it because it's just so ridiculous how things have gone over the last like 24 hours. It just seems like, you know, you'll probably get this at some point. You're like, you probably experienced it, too. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this are older than me. You've been through it. Uh, it's just like when uh, something negative happens, you can get into a mindset where it's a self-fulfilling prophecy and negative things keep happening. Uh, this is just hilarious, honestly. I bought a microphone, needed an adapter, bought another adapter. The adapter didn't work, so now I got another adapter and I'm trying to make it all work out. So I went to, I went out of my way to go and get the situation fixed and uh, it didn't. So now I've been recording in the same microphone as before, thinking that it sounded better, which is hilarious because it's literally just the same sound. Uh, and I've been in this situation now for a couple of days and didn't even know it. So we'll bounce. Uh, things will get good. Uh, I'm sure I just got that one year coin from uh, my 12 step meeting. I showed it last night. I'll show it again in case this is the first time that you're going to watch one of my videos. But when you get a year clean, they give you a little, little coin to celebrate. So at least I have this, uh, you know, I might not have the adapter I need to use my microphone, but I do have this coin. And it's a sign that, you know, uh, we can only focus on what's within our control. I just want to control everything and still have that sometimes where I'll get upset, I'll get angry when, I'm, when things don't go according to my plan. But, you know, what am I going to do? You know, I, I went out of my way, I tried to fix the problem. It's a minor problem relative to other problems in the world. Uh, so... Let's get back to it. I think that today, um, you know, I wanted to drive and talk and have a conversation, but my microphone doesn't work. So what I'll probably do is stop at a couple places throughout the rest of my day where I'm working and kind of give you a little bit of insight into a day in the life type thing of a recovering gambling addict, because as you can tell, uh, not every day is glamorous, but there's a certain perspective that comes along with recovery where, hey, shit's going to hit the fan, things are going to go bad, but doesn't mean it has to ruin your life. Uh, and I'm still struggling with that. I'm still working through that on a daily basis. But again, trying to be open, honest, and raw with you guys. Uh, I'm trying not to edit this video at all. So if you hear any sounds in the back, if you hear any cuts, if you hear any ums, it's because I want to be authentic and honest and show you what I'm actually like, show you what I'm doing on a daily basis. And I'm still going to put out the videos where I work hard on the edits. I get an editing team to do it. And I work on it to kind of teach about things that I'm doing in my recovery that you can use in yours. But um you know, I also wanted to make a couple of these just to give you an honest picture of what, where my head's at during the days that I'm, uh, I'm frustrated or the days that I'm just trying to live a happier and healthier life. Cause it all happens one day at a time. I don't just say that to make a pun or to have some kind of hook at the end of the video. It literally does. The coin that I have says one day at a time. That's how I've embraced it. My name is Rob one day at a time online. I have to look at things on a daily basis. You can only control what's in front of you. You can't control what's already happened. You can't control what's going to happen. All you can do is focus on what's in front of you. And what I have in front of me is an iPhone without a microphone. Uh, and that's okay because I still get the chance to talk to you. I can't make excuses as to why I wouldn't make a video today. I need to get this video out because that's what I said I was going to do. Um, trying to think of some deep topic that I could talk about real quick. I guess one... Uh, one thing that we could talk about maybe is identifying what you're struggling with and trying to find a solution rather than sitting around and feeling sorry about it. A lot of people think that when it comes to addiction, we're using it as some kind of excuse like, oh, I'm addicted. So I'm crying when I go online and I'm being a crybaby by talking about what's going wrong in my life. Uh, I don't think that's the case at all. 
I think that what people don't understand is that when you have an issue in front of you, the very best thing that you can do is to talk about it. And I choose to do it online because I want to help other people to follow along the same thought process that I'm using when they're going through the same problems. But even just talking through it out loud with friends and family or even by yourself can make a really big difference. That's what journaling is for me. It's like I write down what I would say out loud, but I guess I just write it down so that I can read it over again and repeat it. But whatever your problems are. So for me today, my problem is not having this microphone for driving a half hour out of my way to try to get the microphone and then still not having it afterwards. And what can I do about it? Hmm, nothing. So I ordered the attachment, right? What can I do? I have to wait for it to come. So was it within my control? No. Can I do anything about it in the meantime? No. So what's the point in being upset about it? I guess there's not really a point. So that's the kind of perspective that I wish I had when I was gambling because there would be all kinds of bets where it would go wrong. And my immediate thought was, oh, that was within my control because I made the decision to place that bet. And so I can get better at this and I can go forward and make a winning bet the next time. But that's a false belief because we don't have any control when we're gambling. It's a false sense of control that we're getting from, you know, being able to choose which way we lose. It's not really that we're altering the outcome of the game or we're having any impact on the results. We're just guessing. And that's the whole point. It's that's why it's gambling. That's why it's not profitable because there's so much randomness. Um, ooh, that was a nice, nice little voice crack there. So, yeah, I guess when it comes to life, I'm enjoying the fact that I get to choose the way that I react to certain things now. Um, whereas before it was just natural instinct reacting when things would go wrong, I'd get mad. I still do that, but I'm a little more aware of it than I used to be. And I'm moving in a good direction to the point where, you know, hopefully every time that something goes wrong, I start to react a little bit better each time. Not there yet, as you saw yesterday or uh, whenever you watched the previous video on this one, but it's in the right direction. And now that I'm only focusing on things that I can control, I have a little bit more agency to make a difference in my thoughts and what I do next as a result of it. You know, we can't change the future, but we can plan for it in the present. And the way that I'm planning for my future is to stop getting so pissed off with every little thing. And I have to repeat that every single day to myself because the gambling addict in me wants things to happen immediately. They want, well, he wants the quick results. He wants certainty wants it fast and none of that happens uh there's literally no certainty in most of the things that i do and it does not happen fast i can tell you that so i'm gonna drive over to gnc pick up some protein powder not that i get massive gains like some people that you'll see on youtube but i've been trying to take care of my body so um focusing on what i'm eating focusing on like supplements that i'm taking stuff like that so I'm going to go get those and I'll probably uh, talk to you outside that parking lot since I can't drive and talk because this microphone, which is totally, totally fine. See you in a few. After all these years, GNC finally got me to sign up for their uh, pro membership thing. I think it was it was like 40 bucks and you get 15% off every time that you go. So as long as I go like two more times, then I'll end up saving money on it. I always said no, because I was always worried about having enough money on hand for gambling. Now that I'm not gambling, I have a little bit extra to spend and it's uh, it's nice and nice refreshing feeling, but damn is stuff at GNC expensive. This is definitely not an advertisement for them. Really, really expensive to buy protein, greens, pre-workout, anything that you're going to buy for the gym. So uh, my friend told me that bodybuilding was like the most expensive sport in the world and I totally believe him because you guys are just spending so much on supplements and like anything. I mean, just protein to get basic needs met are destroying my bank account. But hey, uh, you know, not destroying it anywhere near the same as um, when I was gambling. So whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it could be worse. So I'm about to jump on a call with the director of uh, Stop Predatory Gambling. His name is Les Burnell. I really recommend checking them out. Uh, I've really enjoyed working with them and making content. They are basically a group that's against casinos being able to advertise so freely. They want to see commercialized gambling entities, as they put it, uh, have restrictions on them the same way that we see with cigarette companies and alcohol companies as to what they can say on their commercials. So I don't know if you've seen a casino commercial, but it's like 
come and be the next big winner. Come over here and you're going to live a happy life. Like if you're sad, come do this because it's going to make you happier. And it's just like, oh my God, they're hitting all the points that are in themselves, the addictive nature of the game. And they're using them as the marketing points directly, not even trying to hide what they're doing. So I like what Les is doing. I'm going to give him a call. We're going to catch up and uh, see how we can move forward for another project. Um, I will, it's confirmed, be going out to Arizona at the end of, probably the end of December, maybe a little earlier, to film a day in the life at a addiction recovery center. So I'm really excited for that one. That's going to be a great video and uh, looking forward to hearing from you guys soon. Or I guess that was a bad way to sign out. I will talk to you guys after the call. I will see you soon. Peace. There is no world where it should take you half an hour to edit a five second Instagram video, but that's what I just did. Uh, I wish I went somewhere cooler today, guys, but honestly, I just went to the store. I came back after that call and now, you know, I'm editing videos and working on myself at home. Uh, I'm going to be hitting a hot yoga class tonight, so that should be a pretty fun before and after picture, but these are the things that I do on a regular basis now. I uh, get my work done. I do what I can and then I come home and hang out and I guess uh, you know it's not that thrilling but hey that's why I'm making this video it's the whole point uh just wanted to show you once again I hit that one year just a few days ago and uh, my girlfriend had made me this card and I just wanted to show like the detail on it because I think she did a really good job looks like sprinkles but she worked really hard so I just wanted to give her a little bit of a shout out because I know she's been watching these longer form videos um so yeah I think that one part of recovering from a gambling addiction or any addiction that people have to adapt to is the pace. I've mentioned that before. And when you take away the high speed, high energy thrills of gambling and you have to replace it with something, it's not very logical that you'll replace it with something so slow and mundane, but it's kind of what has to happen if you want to stay away. A lot of people will replace one addiction with another. You quit gambling, you start drinking more, or you start using. And that ends up creating more problems and prolonging the issues that are underlying the addiction. So I'm here to show you this is kind of what you replace it with. You focus on your time and energy uh, into productive things, yes, but sometimes they're just a little bit stale. I mean, I'm reading this, uh, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. got it in Philadelphia. If you watched my one-year video, you might have seen it in that. Um, that's what I've been doing, I'm reading, making that... 30 minute video to go for five seconds it's ridiculous if that video flops i'll be mad that happens a lot too a lot of videos flop i mean trying to create a new niche which is gambling addiction recovery and it's not yet that popular not a lot of people are quitting gambling yet but when they do i guess you'll eventually stumble onto this video and you'll see kind of what it's like on a day-to-day -day. uh and again i don't want you to think that i'm replacing all the videos on my account with this kind of content but I wanted to give you something that you can throw on in the background. You can listen to like it's almost like a podcast and just hear someone else that's going through it and the thoughts that are racing through my head. I guess this is just as much for me as it is for you guys, therapy session. Um, but hope that you're enjoying it nonetheless. So I'm going to be heading over to that hot yoga session. I'll talk in the car a little bit before I go in, give you a little bit about what the hell that's about and uh, kind of dive into why I'm doing it, what the benefits are supposed to be, and then... I think when I come back, I'm going to be going live on TikTok. Maybe I'll find a way to work some of that film into here, though I don't really know how yet. Uh, but hopefully I'll see some of you in there. Uh, let me know down in the comments below if you've ever stopped in on one of my TikTok live streams because I've been doing them for months. Maybe that's how most of you even know me. Um, but I'm going to keep doing it. Looking forward to talking to you guys in a little bit. Thanks for listening so far. So I want to tell you about what is probably the weirdest thing that I've picked up since I uh, quit gambling and started to focus on my uh, my health. Well, weirdest and like, I guess the most unique. Uh, sorry, the lighting isn't great, but hey, neither's the sound, right? We don't have the microphones still. Uh, so I started going to hot yoga because my friend told me to start going and I thought it was ridiculous, right? Like yoga sounds cool. It sounds super spiritual and whatnot. Meditation's cool like maybe yoga is like that i had no idea what to expect and i went to like the full-on like non-beginner friendly version and i kid you not it was the hardest thing i've ever done and i used to play soccer and tennis and we'd have like pretty intense practices and workouts and it was nothing compared to this hot yoga session it was like 108 degrees in the room i was doing all these like push-up style things crazy stretches positions and holds and stuff like that 
like you'll see if you watch yoga on TV, but it was just really, really hot too. And the room gets to like these nutty temperatures and you sweat your ass off is what you do. But by the end of it, you've sweat out a lot of the toxins that are in your body. You've raised your endorphins because you've been doing a workout and you've gotten an extra calorie burn because it's a billion degrees in there. So I'm actually going to be going to do that now. It's been quite a while since I've gotten in and I'm feeling kind of stressed, like just in general, it feels like, I mean, I've, if you've watched the last couple of videos that I've made of these, like, you know, I've been a little bit stressed out to the point where I feel like it's time to take matters into my own hands and uh, seek a little bit of a relief to that. And it used to be gambling, like I talked about, it used to be the escape that you could go off and gamble and not have to worry about the problems. And now that is a thing of the past. Now I have to confront any issues that I have immediately. And I'm doing it by going to hot yoga. And that is so much different than it would have been just a year ago. Even like, I mean, two years ago would have been even worse. But hey, you know, that's growth. Uh, no longer am I going to shoot dice to get my uh, my mind off of stress of work and problems and whatnot. Uh, now I'm going to go and do warrior one pose in 111 degree heat. Very, very different. Uh, hey. And if you guys get a Prius ever and it makes all this noise, I don't know if it's supposed to make all this noise. This is an old car, a lot of miles on it. Uh, so if I do explode during this, then that is exactly why. It's because we have this, uh, this old Prius and that's why it just makes so much noise, which is why I'm excited for the new microphones. Not upset that I don't have them, but excited that I'm going to be getting them. Uh, you know, when it comes to hot yoga, I don't know if that's gonna be your thing. I didn't think it would be my thing. I enjoy it. I wouldn't say I have a passion for it or anything, but you know, whatever it is that you can get out of your own head for a while without making your life measurably worse is a good thing. It's like this idea of delayed gratification versus instant gratification. We could go and have a drink or smoke something or gamble, feel good for a couple minutes and then, uh, you know, feel like crap because we have to deal with the consequences of it. Or we can go and do something to get our ass kicked, like go to the gym, do hot yoga, go for a run, even go for a walk. And we might not feel great doing it, but it's gonna leave us better off in the long run. And that's the idea of releasing positive endorphins, like exercise is this natural way to feel better that we just underutilize because we think it's too much work or we don't wanna do it. And hey, I'm no fitness guru by any means. Uh, I'm not selling you supplements, even though I did go to GNC. I'm not selling you GNC because it's too expensive. But there's something to be said about taking matters into your own hands and doing something healthy that can leave you better off without having to stress about negative consequences that are going to come along. Um, sorry if that was cycl circular, cyclical, whatever it might be that I was ending up repeating myself. But hey, if you're watching this far into the video, you just might you might just like listening to my voice because I don't know what kind of value I'm providing right now. Um, that was a thing I was talking to my girlfriend about earlier. It's like I'm used to recording these videos that are structured in the sense that I know what I'm trying to say, how I'm going to say it, and what benefit you're going to take directly as the viewer. And I see the value in making those videos. Like it's very clear, like why do make this video, they can learn this and they can be happier because of it. When I'm making this, I'm sharing what I'm going through. I'm sharing my day to day and I don't know if it's helpful for you or not as a viewer. So it provides this weird feeling to me like, hey, is this a good use of your time and resources? I don't know. Someone might comment yes, someone might comment no. But what I think is that if I had to think back to what I needed when I was first looking to get into recovery for gambling, I needed some certainty in my life to give me the comfort in knowing that it was gonna be okay. And if someone was online showing me the entire process and being brutally honest, I would have certainty if nothing else. I could be bored out of my mind watching the dude. I could not wanna hear a single word that he has to say but at least I would know what I'm getting myself into when it comes to the recovery journey and like what the day-to-day -day looks like within that. So that's why I'm making these videos. I want you to see what it's like to be in recovery over a year now. And I wish I'd started making them earlier, but I can only do what's within my control as we've been talking about. You know, I wish I could have started with day one in recovery because that would be more valuable to someone who is not sure which way to go. But I can tell you how I felt on day one. And I tell you guys all the time, I felt like shit. And I don't ever want to go back to that feeling. And you shouldn't want to go back to that feeling either. If you're struggling right now, finding a way to take out your anger, take out your frustration by gambling is only going to multiply the problems. Maybe you're not going to come and do hot yoga and that's okay, but you got to find something in your life to provide you with value. 
so that you're not just chasing your problems around and hiding behind different distractions. That got deeper than I expected. I'm gonna go do some hot yoga. I'm gonna come back out. I'm gonna try if the lighting provides the ability to show you how much I sweat when I'm in there because I'm gonna go through a shirt and a towel at minimum. But uh, I look forward to showing you guys that and thank you for sticking around at least to this far in the video. Please drop a like if you're enjoying this absolute word vomit that I'm giving you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. This lighting doesn't even give a even close to true look at how I actually am right now. Uh, I am drenched. It was only 108 degrees, but it was still really, really hot. But after it, I feel like uh, a little exhausted, but I feel good, like kind of centered. And I don't even know if it's because of the yoga or the fact that no one talked to me for an hour. Uh, that might have been part of it, but I feel good. Uh, and now I feel better without having to feel worse afterwards, if that makes sense. Uh, there's no real consequences to doing hot yoga other than needing to get a cold shower. Uh, and I like those, well, as much as someone could like them. Anyways, uh, instead of writing out a journal reflection today, let me just say, you're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, but if you are taking it into your own control to go out and make a difference in your life in a positive way, then you're gonna have more good days than bad days. And that's just how it rolls. Even bad days can become good days, if you're not uh, kicking yourself while you're down. So I don't know if that made sense or it sounded like a load of bullshit, but anyways, this is, uh, it's been a good day. I'm gonna get over to TikTok Live now. I said I was gonna try to figure out a way to show it to you, but honestly, I can't. I don't have a second phone to record myself recording myself. So with that being said, let's keep living a happy and healthy life and let's do it one day at a time. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another day in the life of a recovering gambling addict. This has been a good one. Peace.